Okay, so you can see now that I've changed the channel of the position for pocket in the eight ball in the side pocket. You see that the three ball is in the same spot in the skid zone, and I have one, two diamonds of distance between the cue ball and the object ball. If I play a stop shot here, I will not have position on the eight. I will be blocked by this side of the wall. So what I have to do is calculate my oyster. I always need to calculate oyster first, and that is angle, speed, and spin based on the distance for a stop shot. The second thing I do is ask myself, will oyster put me in position for my next shot? If the answer is no, then I need to make a change. I need to change one of the variables. I can't change the angle very much because I will risk missing the shot. I don't want to change the speed because that's my consistent arm motion, my kinetic energy that I'm applying every single time. But I can change the spin, and that's what I'm going to do here. Now the cue ball isn't going to touch a rail in this shot, so there's no need for me to go left and right of, of my vertical axis. But I do see that I need to come back about a diamond to a diamond and a half at the most. That will put me right in the middle of this channel. So my calculation for two diamonds away is a half a tip below center. That's oyster. Now all I need to do is, is add the distance that I need to come back to oyster and I will have my calculation for a oyster or adjusted oyster. So here I have a, a tip, a half a tip below. I'm going to add a diamond. A diamond is a half. So now I'm at a full tip below to a tip and a quarter below center. And that will put me in perfect position for the eight ball in the side pocket. Okay, uh, let's have another scenario. See the three ball is in the skid zone, and you see the eight ball channel is set up in this direction. So that means I need the cue ball to be somewhere in this area for position on the eight. Now, if I shoot a stop shot, I'm gonna be nowhere near position for the eight ball. But I have to know my reference of stop shot, which is oyster. So I calculate the distance between the two balls, which is one diamond. One diamond tells me zero for oyster. Then I ask myself, does oyster put me in position? The answer is no. So what do I need to do? I can't change the angle. I don't want to change the speed. I need to change the spin. I'm going backwards. So I'm going to add negative. Negative is going down below the oyster. So I start off with zero. I need to add two diamonds of backspin to that. Each diamond representing a half a tip. That puts me at one tip below center. So now my adjusted oyster, my A oyster, is zero for my angle, two for my speed, and one B for my spin choice. And that will put me right in position for the eight ball. Okay, so you can see that I've changed the channel for the eight ball position so that the cue ball needs to be in this area. The first thing we need to do is check oyster. And oyster is always a stop shot. So in this case we have angle zero, we have speed of two, and we have spin of zero because the cue ball to the object ball is one diamond away. We ask ourselves, does that put me in position for our next shot? And in this case, the answer is no. So what I need to do is take a look at how far away from Oyster 
I want the cue ball vertically. Do I want it to go forward or do I want it to come backward on the bed of the table? And you can clearly see that I need to go forward about three diamonds. Now on the forward diamonds past the skid zone or past the oyster, each diamond represents a quarter of a tip change because the back spin is fighting the friction whereas the top spin is going along with the, with the friction. So it's, it's not causing a resistance. So here we have one diamond away of zero and we have three diamonds going forward. Each one is a quarter, quarter, half, three quarters. Three quarters of a tip above center is our final A oyster equation which will put us in position for the eight ball. Well, thank you for watching. I hope this helps out a little bit with your game. But to learn much more about this system and many others, please check out the Academy of the Cueing Arts at billiardinstruction.com. And remember, knowledge is power. Cheers.